All right, so what I'm trying to do right now is I got bigger tires on my truck that are bigger than factory and my speedometer's off by about I don't know, 4% plus about a five mile per hour offset because when I changed out my odometer to put these cluster, these cluster gauges in, I took the speedometer needle off and didn't do the calibration that some of you guys do where you apply voltage to the speedometer needle Wait till it goes to a certain position, pull the needle off, and then put it back on in the same position. Well, I didn't do that, put it back on, and it's offset by about 5 miles per hour. And again, there's also a multiplier difference. So what I'm experiment with, experimenting with right now is I'm trying to... I went out to Radio Shack, which by the way is going on out of business, so there's a bunch of stuff really dirt cheap there. Um, trying to work out an interface between my rear wheel speed sensor the abs sensor because i got a 2000 and my gem since i got a two-wheel drive well actually no i'm gonna wait till the gem interprets the signal and then sends it out from the gem to the speedometer to the ecu cruise control module to my overhead uh console so right now what i got so far is i disconnected this connector from the bottom of my gem and i pulled out the pin the gray and uh black wire that's the speedometer wire it's a speed signal from the GEM to all the three different other modules and then I got it hooked up to my Arduino here and I've written some code right now it's only a 5 volt pulse actually the signal that's supposed to come from the GEM is actually supposed to be a, a VBAT a battery voltage pulse signal but I figured that well, should be able to read 5 volts as well um, so this right now is just to see if what I read online is correct, and if so, I should be getting a reading on my speedometer. I have it set up here on the code. You'll see miles per hour. I know there's a five mile per hour offset. Let me get that to the, there we go. So that's why I added that five there. Let's see, we're going to connect it. So I got 30 there. I'm connecting it. Actually, no, I don't have 30. I got 60. All right, let me run this. All right, done uploading. So now I'm going to connect it. And let's see what it does. Yeah, it's right about 30, maybe a little bit difference. You know, disconnect it, boom, drops. Obviously, I'm not moving. You can see I'm not moving here. Now let's type in. I'm going to leave that connected. And now I'm going to type in. Let's do 60. Upload. It'll drop because it lost power. Boom. Up to 60. Hey, I don't know if you can see or not. My odometer's rolling over, which I don't want it to do that too much. Let's see what 100 does. Do that. It'll drop. Boom. 100 miles an hour in a Ranger. Let's try a buck 20. You can definitely see that odometer rolling real quick now. Well, I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, I'll probably show a how-to on this. Let me turn this off right now so I don't get my one mileage on my truck. Um, that's a little project I'm working on. I know there's a lot of guys out there that pay like 200 bucks for these speedometer calibrators. I was like, well, hell, for $30, I could probably make my own. Um, I'm thinking about also maybe integrating a GPS module into it so it can do self-calibration. Um, but, uh, yeah, a whole lot cheaper than uh, having the dealership do it for you. Or, like I said, buy one of those $200 calibrating modules and connect it. All right, thanks for watching.